The other four pillars of Islam, the Salat, the Zakat, the Hajj, and Siyam, are mentioned in the Quran 114 times, or 19 times 6. And when you take the word Salat, for example, which happens in the Quran 67 times, and you take the numbers of verses and the numbers of the surahs, where every time you see this word Salat, and you add them up, the total is a multiple of 19. It is 4,674, or 19 times 246, the word Salat, throughout the Quran. You add the verses and the, num and the, the numbers of the verses and the numbers of surahs, where the word Salat occurs and the total is 4,674 or 19 times 246. If you go to the word Zakat, you find that Zakat and Hajj, you add the numbers of the verses and the numbers of surahs, where Zakat and Hajj are found, and the total is 2,888 or 19 times 19 times 8. This is zakat and hajj together. You add the numbers of the verses and the numbers of the surahs throughout the Quran where you see zakat and hajj. When you look at the word siyam in the Quran, in the whole Quran, the fasting of Ramadan, you will see that it occurs six times and if you add the numbers of the verses to the numbers of the surahs, every time you see this word siyam uh, in, in all its forms, the total is 1,387 or 19 times 37. So the basic pillars of Islam, the numbers assigned to the surahs and verses where these words are found, all these numbers are multiples of 19. Entitled Qaf is also initialed with the letter Qaf, and when you count this letter Qaf, every time you see it, you count it in the Quran. In this surah, you will find that the total of the letter Qaf in this surah is 57 or 19 times 3. Also, the only other surah initialed with Qaf, which is surah number 42. There's the letter Qaf as an initial, contains the exact same number of Qaf as the other surah. So you count this Qaf and then you go and find this Qaf and count it and so on. 
This is a physical fact. The total occurrence of the letter Qaf in this Qaf initial surah is also 57, 19 times 3. Now, when you go back to surah Qaf here, you notice that Qaf is a symbol or stands for Quran. Q stands for Quran, or Qaf here stands for Quran. And if you add the 57 Qaf Q of this surah, number 50, plus the 57 Qaf or Q in surah number 42, also 57, 57 plus 57 is 114, which is exactly the same number as the surahs of Quran. 57 plus 57 equals 114, the number of surahs in Quran. You notice that the letter Surah Qaf is number 50, and it consists of 45 verses. If you add the number of the Surah, which is 50, to the number of verses in the Surah, which is 45, the total is 95, or 19 times 5. Well, this is half the story. If you go to the only other Surah initial with Qaf, which is Surah number 42, you see that the number of verses is 53. And if you add the number of the surah to the number of the verses, you get exactly the same total as surah Qaf, which is 95. 42 plus 53 is 95, or 19 times 5. And with surah Qaf, 50, the number of the surah plus the number of verses, 45. 50 plus 45 is 95, or 19 times 5. In this surah, the Qur'an is described as Majid. Qaf wal Qur'an al-Majid. And this word, Majid, has its numerical value is 57, which is the number of the letter Qaf in this surah. Majid, the M is 30, the Jim is 3, the Ya is 10, and the Dal is 4, and you add these numbers, 30 plus 3 plus 10 plus 4, the total is 57. 19 times 3. When the Quran was revealed, there were no numbers. These letters were used as numbers. So you can look at the meme as the letter meme or M, and also as the numeral 30. The same with the other letters. So this is a universal established system of uh, where the alphabet letters are used as numbers. <clears throat> when you go to Surah 68, which is initial with the letter Noon, N, if you count the letter N, wherever you see it in this Surah, you find that the total is 133, 19 times 7. 